Peggy 16. Achieved with CryEngine. Hello everyone, Crykane here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the ever-popular Hangar version 2. Hangar version 2 is of course the redesigned version of the original Hangar, which is one of the oldest maps in Warface and has been around since the launch of the game in the beta of 2013. As you can see in the picture, the overall aesthetics of the map were greatly improved, but the popular spots and tactics remain unchanged and true to the original version. In this video, we're going to be focusing on showing you some useful tricks and tips, although there'll be less demonstration than there was in the last video on AUL. Being on top of the containers gives you a great advantage, but waiting for one of your teammates to do a double climb with you can sometimes be annoying, so we're going to show you how to do this without any help from your teammates. In order to pull this off, keep the following in mind. First off, make sure you're using some sprint speed enhancing equipment such as light boots, as it'll make this jump a lot easier. The technique showed in this video works nearly all of the time, but that doesn't mean you can't get it wrong. If your timing is great, you can get up there without fail, even if you're not wearing any sprint speed increasing equipment. And of course, if at first you don't succeed, try try again because practice makes perfect, and I didn't get it on the first try either. And lastly, don't forget because you're exposed when trying to make this jump, lay down a smoke before you do it, and it'll decrease your risk of getting popped from the edge of the map. You can get up on top of these containers with pretty much any type of boots, but the ones that Linomaniac uses will be displayed on the left hand side. The easiest way to get onto any of the containers is to use the wooden pallets on the forklift in the middle of the map, but this video is going to focus instead on the more tricky ways that you can get up there. As soon as you leave the Blackwood spawn on the left, you'll be able to take up a good position. Linomaniac is now going to show you two different ways of jumping on another container, but always remember to make sure that there's no enemies lurking about, and if in doubt, use a smoke grenade. You're at your most vulnerable when you're on the containers after all. It's very important to get a running start when doing this jump, so get a long sprint going first. Here's another method you can employ to gain access to the top of the container. If you want to take this left path, you'll need a faster pair of boots than the default ones. Always keep an eye out for enemies. The container offers a great view of the map, which can really be a double-edged sword. Don't forget your enemies can see you as well. When you're sure the coast is clear, you can take a left and go to the enemy vantage point, but you can also use the second enemy spot to get back to yours if you need a quick escape. Getting onto the containers from the Warface spawn is a little trickier, but as we've said, practice makes perfect. Once you're on top of the container, you have fairly similar options to the enemy team. You can go to the advantageous spot on the left, or you can stay behind the boxes and even push to the enemy's advantage spot on the right. Keep in mind that sometimes it can be very hard to take out enemies on the highest container. To help with that issue, Linomaniac is going to show you how to take down an enemy from both sides.
And as always, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for the next episode of the series. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you next time.